Hello. In this video, we are going to look at the resume in more detail and break it down into its different parts. We will also discover what key things you need to include in a resume. Let's begin by looking at a sample one-page resume. Some resumes are much longer than one page, but for our purposes, we are going to stick with a one-page version. In this sample, I hope you can see how the writer has used lots of white space, bullet points, and a limited number of fonts, so the resume is much easier to read. Let's look at a resume that doesn't have these things. Which resume would you prefer to read? That's right, the first one. Put yourself in the shoes of a possible employer who might read lots of resumes each day. Which one do you think the employer will prefer reading? So the lesson here is, make your resume easy to read. Don't give a future employer an excuse to ignore your resume or throw it in the trash. So what can you do to prevent this from happening? Well, the first thing you can do is make sure that your resume has each of the following key parts. What are these parts? Well, the first one is your name and contact details. If an employer wants to contact you to ask you to come for an interview, here is where they will find your full name and information about how they can communicate with you, like your email address or telephone number. The next part of your resume is the headline and summary. This section is where you should write the job you are looking for and then include a summary of the skills you have. So, if we look at the sample resume again, you will see that this person includes the job title project coordinator and then gives a short summary of her work experience and key skills. The third part of the resume you need to include is work experience. Here, you can list the jobs you have worked at in the past, including your current job, if you have one. Current job means what job you have now. Be sure to list your work experience in reverse chronological order. In other words, list your most recent job first, the one before that next, and so on into the past. If we look at the sample resume, we can see this person listed her job from 2005 to the present first, and then lists her job from 2001 to 2005 after this. The final part of the resume that you need to include is education. Here, you should include any high school or college degrees you received and the year you received them. If we look at the sample resume one more time, can you see what education Beth Smith received? She includes her associate's degree from Northeast Wisconsin Technical College in 2001. If you have more than one qualification, list them in reverse chronological order, similar to your work experience. So, you should begin with your most recent degree first, and then the one before that after. So, in conclusion, in this video we have done a short overview of the different key parts of a resume. In the remainder of this unit, we will look at each of these parts in more detail. Next, we will have a reading on the basic elements of a resume, followed by a check your understanding exercise and a game.